everyone, this is Crafty Decoria and I hope you're all doing great. Well, I do have a Dollar Tree haul, but I have to say that I didn't find very many items and this was probably the first time that I left the Dollar Tree with only a few items in hand. But I did want to share them and because there's not that many, I figured with one of the items that I found that I would go ahead and do three really simple DIYs to show how I would use that particular item in a DIY. So the first thing I have is this watermelon coin purse. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. I haven't seen these before myself. It is a very soft, fuzzy material. material and it is padded. There is a little bit of padding in there. So I thought this was just too cute not to bring home. So I picked up that. I did find some socks and I really love these crew socks that have the prints on them where the left and right foot once together make a picture. So the first one that I came across were these french fries and how cute are they? And the fries are fuzzy as well. I then picked up the hamburger also pretty cute. The ice cream cone and the donut. I really like picking these up for my daughter. I think they're absolutely adorable. And then the final item that I picked up and I only saw two of them so I did grab them both are these pot holders. So you do get two for $1.25 here in Canada and how cute is that? For anyone who loves the red truck, you will definitely want to find and pick these up. So now let me move on to my three simple DIYs and the item I'll be using to make them are these pot holders. So before I begin the DIYs, I want to start by saying that the one thing that I will be doing to all four pot holders is taking them apart. So here I've already gone ahead and taken off the ribbing that goes around the pot holder. So there is the quilted pad. That's the back. This is the ribbing. And then this is the front of the pot holder. So I'm going to remove all of the fronts as I'll only be using the fronts for these DIYs. with DIY number one. I'm going to be making a simple push light and or lamp and all the items I have in front of me are from Dollar Tree. So the first is this glass vase which is really nice and the top has like a hurricane look to it. I have some white acrylic paint, Mod Podge in a gloss finish, nautical rope by Craft Decor, then you can either use the push light that Dollar Tree carries or the wire LED lights that Dollar Tree carries. And then of course my cover to my pad. So that is it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take a uh, paper towel, wet it and just clean your vase off to remove any dust particles and then dry it really well. Then taking the Mod Podge, I'm just going to apply it to an area where I'm going to be placing my piece of fabric here. And then I'll press that down. Once I make sure that I have all air bubbles out, I'll go ahead, take some more Mod Podge and apply it to the top of the fabric and then let that dry. So now that my Mod Podge has dried, I am going to take my white acrylic paint and I'm going to paint all of the glass. I'm going to 
finish off this simple lamp, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to go all along the outside of the fabric piece just to give it a nicer finish and then I'll do at least one row to the top and bottom. I think one row will be enough. Moving on to DIY number two. Now this is just going to be a pretty hanging decor piece. Again, all the items are from Dollar Tree. So I have a scrap piece of nautical rope from a previous project. I have a Dollar Tree charger, a Dollar Tree round metal tray. I have acrylic paint in holiday red as well as black and I'll be using the Mod Podge in the gloss finish and of course my fabric from my pad cover. So that will be it. I also have a little piece of sandpaper that I'm going to use just to scruff up the charger as it does have a gloss finish and I am using acrylic paint and no primer. So by scuffing it up, it's just gonna help the paint adhere but I will be sealing it with the Mod Podge. So let me go ahead and scruff that up and then give this charger, um, I'm pretty much just going to be painting the outer rim in the back black acrylic paint. So as the black paint is drying, I'm now going to take my holiday red and I'm going to apply it to the center of the tray. The edge of the tray, I'm going to leave it silver. Now I also went ahead with my sandpaper and scuffed the center down. Then you just want to take a paper towel and remove any dust. Um, with the first DIY, I forgot to mention all my fabric pieces, I did cut all the way around the edge because there was the pinholes from the thread when they had this sewn all together. But with this piece for this DIY, I'm actually gonna cut it down even further. So I'm gonna cut around the tree, down around the rooster, down to this um, field in the back and then over the tree. So basically I'm cutting out the sky. And then once my red paint has dried, I'm going to apply the Mod Podge apply the piece of fabric and then some more Mod Podge on top. I have finished applying a few coats to the charger and to the center of the metal round tray. Next I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it to the black area as well as the red area. Now when I get to my metal tray, once I have the Mod Podge on, I'm going to take my fabric piece and I'm going to lay it on top of the Mod Podge. Now with this fabric piece, I actually went ahead and I cut out the sky as well as directly underneath the truck so that I have this. So then I will place that on top of the Mod Podge once I apply it. Then I'll take some E6000 glue, apply it to the bottom of the tray, and then place it in the center of that charger.
ready to finish up this piece, but there's a couple things that I did. So the first is, if you can tell, I wanted this plate to resemble the tire on the red truck. So to really do that, I took a drinking glass and I just traced part of it just behind the fabric and then I painted that area with the white acrylic paint. And I just love how the rooster is just ahead of that. It really makes him pop out. Another thing is I would recommend if you're going to make this is that when you're cutting out your fabric, I would recommend starting really low and then kind of working my way up. And then on this side, I would also cut out this section here, but leave the fence. I think it would just look like it was more blended into the plate that way. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a piece of fabric, but it was just sticking out like a sore thumb because as you can see, it didn't make its way to the edge of the uh, metal tray. So I just ended up taking my red acrylic paint and going over that. I probably could have done another coat, but it's fine. And I covered it and then I also went over with Mod Podge just so that um, it would blend more into the plate. But again, you can see there's like a harsh line where it's cut here. So I think by cutting it out just would have made it look again more blended into the plate. So that's a little tip if you like this DIY and you want to make it for yourself. So the last thing I have to do is take my nautical rope to of course go along with the other two DIYs and I did tie a knot on each end because I was going to glue this to the front so that I could hang it. But then I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and glue it to the back. This way if I want to hang it I have that option or if I don't want to hang it and I want to place it on a Dollar Tree display easel then I could showcase it that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead hot glue that nautical rope to the back and this DIY will be complete. Okay guys, and now moving on to DIY number three, which is the final DIY in this set of three. And I will be making a planter box. So the supplies again are all from the Dollar Tree. The first thing I have this wooden plaque. I have two of these wooden decor boxes. They are the press board boxes. And if you don't have these particular ones, again, they have so many different types in this size. The gigantic craft sticks, some nautical rope, this finger game football set, of course, my last two fabric pieces from my pads, and then some white paint as well as some Mod Podge. And I will most likely be using my hot glue and maybe some E6000 glue. And that's it. So let's jump in to the last DIY. Okay, so to start off the DIY, I'm going to first draw a line on each side of this wooden piece, as this is going to be my base for my planter box. So taking a sharp pair of scissors, it, they seem to work with me, or an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut off these two end pieces as I just want a rectangular shape. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my two decor boxes and remove the rows here and then just sand it down so it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead, take my white acrylic paint and paint all of my pieces.
just about ready to glue my ends onto my bottom baseboard here but before I do that I need to Mod Podge my fabric pieces on each of the boxes so taking my Mod Podge I'm just going to apply it to the top of the box and then I'm going to press my fabric on there and then I will apply some more Mod Podge to the top of the fabric and once that's dry I'm just going to take a really sharp X-Acto knife and cut off the excess around the decor box. So now that my Mod Podge is dried, I've already gone ahead with my X-Acto knife and I just trimmed off that excess fabric. So now we have a nice finish on our decor box. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then I'll be ready to glue these onto the piece of wood. So now taking my hot glue, I'm just going to apply some glue at the bottom of the decor box and then glue each box to the end of this bottom wood base piece. little bit more reinforcement I went ahead and I applied some hot glue here as well and then I took another glue stick and just ran it down so that it would give it a really nice finish and it would seal the box to the bottom base as well Taking my gigantic craft sticks, I'm going to be adding three sticks to each side to close in the box. Now you can, if you decide to make this, paint your craft sticks white. I'm just going to leave mine in that natural color that I love. Um, this way when I go ahead and add my handles, which I'll be wrapping with the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, it'll kind of just tie everything in together. So there is a little bit of an arch to my bottom board here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the first one and I'm going to have to hold that down so that it will lay straight. And then I'll add the other two on top. Once this side is done, I'll just flip it over and then do the same thing to the other side. much my basket is complete what I need to do now is make my handles to sit on each end of the basket for that I'll be using the Dollar Tree football finger game and all I'm using out of that kit is this section here so what I've already done to one of them is I've cut off this extra piece here that the other plastic piece sits into so that it's nice and flush 
So for that, I used my Dollar Tree hacksaw. I finally ended up using it and it worked great for cutting that piece off. So once I have them both off, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to wrap this completely until all the orange is covered up. And then once it is finished, I will add glue to the bottom and then add it to each side of my basket for my handles. So a little tip when you are cutting off your plastic piece with your Dollar Tree hacksaw, go ahead and glue these two pieces to the top piece with your hot glue. This way it'll keep them in place and it'll make it a lot easier when you're sawing your plastic piece off. next step really is optional but I like to do it because I think it just finishes off the bottom of the handles a lot nicer so I went ahead and I cut four pieces of the nautical rope and then I just glued it around the base of the handle and I think it really finishes the basket off. Okay hey guys, so here are my three red truck DIYs that were inspired to make from that Dollar Tree pot holder and I absolutely loved how every single one of these have turned out and I hope you do as well. So the first DIY looks pretty much the same as the last clip that you saw but the nautical rope is now on the back of it so if I want to hang it I can but if I want to just display it on the Dollar Tree display easel I can do that as well and I really love the metal tray because it really gives it a higher end look so I'm so pleased with how that turned out with my lamp I love it I can't tell you enough how much I love it but I really love it and I think the white goes so nice with the nautical rope and of course I added the LED uh, wire lights inside from the Dollar Tree to light this piece up and at night it is just glowing but so pretty. What a beautiful pot holder. On the inside as well as the LED lights I placed these Dollar Tree mini roses and I absolutely love these. I was only able to come across them once at the Dollar Tree, never again, but I just think they're so realistic looking and I love how the yellow goes with the yellow in the fabric of the pot holder. 
I think it's just really pretty. So whether you just leave it as a vase lit up or add some flowers in there to make it even more beautiful, I think it is really, really pretty piece. And then with my last DIY, my basket, and I love how this turned out. I'm so pleased with how the handles turned out. I wasn't sure because at first I thought, well, they're gonna look a little bit too high, but adding these Dollar Tree glass vases, these are the ones that say made with love and have that pretty lattice look. I added two of those and then these Dollar Tree flowers and I even left the tag on these ones. They are the um, Amaranthus, I'm not gonna say it right, but that is the name of them. I think they were the perfect flowers to add to this piece because it actually looks like a huge tree in the back with the flowers cascading over the top. And of course, again, with the yellow of the flowers, it goes so beautifully with the yellow in the fabric. So I think they were the perfect flowers to add to this basket. Again, I left my craft sticks in the natural wood, but if this is something you wanna make for yourself and you wanna go ahead and paint them white, you can even stencil something on the craft sticks to personalize it. I just really wanted to keep it plain because I wanted the red truck to be the main focus on the basket. But I do love the handles and I love how it all came together. Well guys, that'll do it for this little haul and three Dollar Tree farmhouse red truck DIYs. I really hope that you enjoyed them. I love them and had so much fun making them. And um, again, I hope you love them as well. And I hope you give them a try for yourself if this is something that you do like. If you liked this video, please click on the like button and please share the video because it greatly helps my channel. And the better I do, then um, I'm hoping very soon to be able to get some better lighting so that I can light up my videos a little bit more. Thank you all so much for being patient. Um, I try to do the best that I can, but sometimes it is just a little too dark, but I hope that you still are able to see them um, well enough. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would absolutely love and appreciate it if you did. And as always, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.